Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. This is the final video, video number 5 on MFRS 102 inventories. And in this video, we'll be focusing on goods in transit and also goods on consignment, which is also part of the issue under uh, inventories. So let's start. What is good in transit? Uh, the uh, basic requirement for counting an uh, item of inventory is actually economic control. Economic control means you have the control over the asset uh, economically in in the uh, rather than the physical possession. It is about substance over form. So uh, sometimes you may have the physical possession, but you may not have the control. So like, let's say the goods are being sold to the buyer, but the buyer um, may not have the physical possession yet because the control is still with the seller. So therefore, uh, when a company purchase inventory, in our case, if we are the reporting entity, the item is included in our inventory list, uh, even if the purchaser, if let's say we are the purchaser, does not have physical possession of the items because the issue that matters is the economic control over the physical possession. So the goods in transit should be included in, in the inventories of the entity that holds the title or ownership of the goods. So economic control is evaluated by looking at or assess at who has the title or ownerships to the goods, right? So um, let's look at the sales of agreement that will normally indicate who is the seller, who, who is the buyer. So in that agreement, of course, it will have the terms and condition that will pay, who will pay for the freight and transportation costs. And uh, these are normally stated as, because our issue is trying to look at what happens if the goods in transit are free on board at the shipping point or is uh, the second situation where the transportation terms or the freight charges are stated at free on board destination? Who has the control? Is it the seller or is it the buyer? When does the transfer of ownership start? That's the issue. Right, let's look at the first one, which is free on board shipping point. So uh, normally in this situation, the buyer will pay the freight costs and then the title of ownership will be transferred to the buyer at the shipping point. Let's say at the point when the goods are being loaded into the lorries or loaded into the delivery trucks or loaded into the ship. Right, it, the title of ownership will change hands. So therefore, the risks and rewards of ownership are being transferred the moment in which the inventory is loaded onto the ship or whatever transportation means that are being used the moment they are being loaded. And uh, if you say goods sold on shipping point, uh, they are even though they are in transit, it should be included in the inventories of us, the buyer. If we are the uh, buyer, we are the one that buy the inventories or we imp uh, have the goods purchased for purpose of resale. So at the moment, it was being loaded onto the shipping points by the seller. Uh, the transfer of ownership is now from the seller to the buyer. At the shipping point. At the moment, the inventory is loaded onto the ship. So let's look at this example with uh, you have Kaki IU that has the terms of uh, shipping point, F, a free onboard shipping point. So goods are loaded onto the lorry and then it is now being delivered. Or it has been now uh, on the way to reach Google Shoes in Singapore. So to so the supplier Kaki IU, uh, the goods were loaded on 28th of June. Right, so it, the goods were loaded onto the lorry on 28th of June. The value of the goods was 35000 The transportation charges was 2000 And the year end was 30th of June. So the goods were loaded on 28th of June. Remember, this is free on board shipping point. And um, to the seller. So now uh, we are the seller. So the buyer uh, is Google Shoes. Destination that we are 
targeting is girl girl shoes the goods were received on 1st of july and the year end of the company was also 30th of june year 18 which is in the same year financial year end is on 30th of june and the goods were received on 1st of july after a year so by the end of the reporting date no goods were received yet by the buyer so the reason rewards of ownership was transferred to girl girl shoes on 28th of june year 18 why because that was free on board shipping point and the tra transfer and title of ownership changed hand on the date the goods were loaded onto the lorry and therefore the 35,000 will now be excluded from the seller's inventory kaki ayu by 30th of june there should be an exclusion of 35,000 inventory since it has been sold off to google shoes however for google shoes the title of ownership will be on 28th of june year 18 it will now be included in google shoes inventory even if the physical delivery was not yet reaching the warehouse of google shoes or maybe the shop that belongs to google shoes why because the risks and rewards were transferred on 28th of june the moment the goods are loaded onto the lorry or onto the ship onto the plane so 35,000 plus 2,000 which is 2,000 the transportation charges will be now included as the cost of inventories under uh, Google sh uh, shoes uh, which is no longer included under Kaki IU so that is a transfer of ownership on the shipping point date so the title were transferred the risk and rewards were also transferred on 28th of June and that is why it is included in the inventories of the buyer the seller now has another option which is to have free on board destination where seller will pay the freight costs and the title of ownership is being changed on the date it reaches the destination if you can compare with the previous one where you will notice that a uh, uh, free on board shipping point buyer is the one that pay but in the uh, free on board destination seller is the one that pay the freight costs so the destination free on board destination so it will only be transferred to the buyer on the date the, the goods reaches its destination the seller will still hold the title until it is being delivered to the buyer while the goods is still in transit is the seller that hold the title seller still hold the title therefore the inventory should not be included inventories of the buyer because in our case the buyer receive the goods on 1st of july and the year end was uh, 30th of june year 18 so by 30th of june year 18 if you can see here the same information um where the risk and rewards of ownership was not yet transferred on 28th of june yeah and it is still included in kaki ayu's inventory why because free on board destination it only reached the destination uh, and the title of ownership were tra transferred on uh, the date 1st of july that is the 1st of july year 18 where uh, the date where it <laughs> changed hand on the date it reaches the destination and therefore on 30th of june year 18 when the reporting date the year end there will be no inclusion of uh, the 35,000 that were um, purchased from the buyer from the seller sorry kaki ayu is the seller so there will be no inventories included as the google shoes is the buyer it is still under the inventory of the seller not until 1st of july year 18 next is inventories that are on consignment goes on consignment and uh, this normally happen on grocery stores where they have sold a lot of goods which are not manufactured by them but it came from different suppliers yep when they just have the finished goods they sell it to the 
a customer and physically yes the goods have changed in terms of the location from the premise of the consignor the seller to the premise of the consignee the buyer however the consignor still hold the title to the goods even though the goods are now in the premise of the buyer the risk and rewards are not transferred to the consignee it's the consignor which is the uh, seller has the control they are the one that will have the future economic benefits or the good sales revenue will be the one that will be entitled to the consignor the consignee will just receive some commission as a result of the uh, goods that are being sold on behalf of the consignor even if the goods are stored in the uh, premises of the consignee however it is not included in the uh, inventories of the consignee as that is included in the inventory of the consignor so uh, let's see you have this books that were being sent off by the consignor 50 books and consignor promised to pay commissions for units sold so consignee received 50 books and they only sold the 20 books so the commission will be paid for the amount that are being sold off the unsold books the risk and rewards are still with the seller if there are you know yeah, the um, whatever risk of not being able to be sold that are still borne by the seller so uh, the customer bought 20 books from the consignee so a consignee is the agent to the consignor now what happened actually the consignor still recognize the revenue not based on the goods sent, the 50 book, but based on the goods that are being sold by the agent. That is the 20 books sold. And uh, the 30 books that were unsold, the 30 books that were unsold uh, are recorded as an unsold inventories. The risk and rewards are not transferred to the consignee at all. Consignee is just given a commission is the consignor that the one that has the control of the books as well as has the risk to be uh, uh, also taken now for the consignee the consignee only receive some commission revenue which is actually the income of the grocery stores or all these uh, uh, small businesses that come from the commission given by the consignee the different supplier so they cannot recognize 30 books as their inventories even though that was unsold the book still belongs to the consignor so none of that is the sales revenue of the consignee because they only receive the commission revenue so let's look at the presentation and disclosure the last part of the presentation as you know inventories are presented as current asset that has to be presented separately from other current asset item but it may have breakdown such as uh, the uh, work in progress finished goods and raw materials the breakdown of the component of the current asset for illustrative disclosure you can refer to 7.2.7 uh, pages 266 to 267 of the textbook and uh, the requirement of the standards in terms of the disclosure requirements are to recognize the inventories as an expense during the period where the sale took place to also recognize any write down as an expense reversal of write down is also recognized as reduction in the amount of inventories circumstances or event that re that lead to the reversal of write down that has to be disclosed in the notes to the account the carrying amount of inventories splash as securities for liabilities in case inventories are used to uh, as a collateral to get the a loan for example now these are the sample disclosure requirements of uh, inventories done by Syme Darby from its annual report of 2020 this is done just for educational purpose and you can see that uh, the inventories uh, are given the total 8346 but the breakdown or the components comprise of raw material and consumable work in progress trading inventories which also uh, show you that the same that be involved in trading of equipment motor vehicles parts and accessories and others so raw material work in progress and trading inventories are three types of different uh, classification of inventories and there are also uh, the finished goods are the trading inventories which are the equipment
motor vehicles and parts and accessory inventories um, total is 8346 and you are also informed on the write down of the inventories that are well below the carrying amount what are the amount that were written down and what are the inventories where it was stated at the net realizable value that's it the references are here and it is from the textbook of uh, use for the course as well as the MFRS 102 inventories from the MASB. MFRS 102 inventories is equivalent to IAS 2 inventories. International Standard. Thank you for watching. We are now done with MFRS 102 lecture. Go and watch the videos on the tutorial. There are a series of tutorials that I have also provided in my channel. Go and have a look, rewatch, replay and relearn and unlearn whatever you should thank you for watching i'll see you when i'll see you assalamualaikum and have a pleasant day ahead